Hey everyone, welcome to Studio SNC. Let's begin today on our bellies. So make your way down onto your belly. Um, begin with your forearms on either side of that mat. So creating a nice surrender or W letter shape with the arms. The chin is tucked. Press the front of the feet into the floor and then press that pelvic region into the mat as well. So your pubic bone and your hip bones. Pull with those forearms, so you're pulling your elbows in closer to your ribcage without actually moving anything. Feel the tension in the side back. Take a breath in, peel the chest up off the floor into a gentle extension. Exhale out through the mouth, lower back down again. Breathing in, peeling up. Keep the lower part of your body switched on. And then breathing out, releasing to the mat. Breathing in, think of someone pulling you forward from the crown of your head, rather than up. You're being lengthened from the top to the tail and feel the movement coming from that mid or thoracic section, lowering down with control. Breathing in, peeling up. And then breathing out, lowering down gently. Two more, inhale, peeling up. And exhale, lowering with control. One last time, inhale, lift. And then breathe out, lower down. This time, right knee bends as we lift up. Keep the forearms on the floor, point the toes and then extend that right leg as we lower the chest. Left leg now, lift up, bending your knee, pull that chin in, try not to lift the head up to look forward. Right knee bends, press the front of the right thigh into the floor. Feel the shortening in the hamstrings here, the lengthening in the front of the body, and then left knee bends as we lift up, and then lower back down. Inhale, right knee bends as we lift, chest stays open throughout. Maybe feel the back getting a little tired now, creating tension in the back of the body. Inhale, right knee bends as we lift and then lower back down. And then the left knee bends for the last time here and lower. From here, arms come down by our side, tuck the chin in, and you can rest the forehead on the mat if you want, giving your neck a little break. We're going to lift a right arm and a left leg, and lift the chest if you want. Or you can leave that forehead on the floor. And then left arm, right leg lifts up. The back of the right hand stays on the floor, not using too much pressure on the hand that remains on the mat. Working on our coordination here, a form of swimming, so opposites. Press the right hip bone into the floor as you lift, so you're not lifting too high with the leg. Lift up and then lower. Feel the glutes working here. Every part of the back of the body working and then releasing back down. Breathing and floating up. And then exhaling, lowering down with control, breathing in, left arm, right leg, lift. And then lower it back down. Right arm, left leg lifts. And then release back down, left arm. Lifting up and then lowering back down. Breathing and finding length. And then releasing. And inhale, lifting. And then lowering down one last time. Breathe in. And breathe out. From here, your right forearm comes in front of your forehead. And rest your forehead down or under your forehead. Reach back with that left hand and see if you can take hold of your left foot with the left hand. Pulling your heel to the bum. Press the thigh into the mat. Feel that stretch. Kick into your hand. And breathe into it. Take one last breath in here. And then release and we switch. So left forearm comes out in front. Reach back with that right hand and take hold of your right foot. Pressing the thigh into the floor. Feeling a lovely long length in the front of the body. Press the right hip into the floor. Take one last breath in here. 
and then let it go. Forearms to the outer edges of the mat again. This time we're gonna lift those arms with us, along with the legs. So inhale, lift the arms, lift the legs, pull the elbows into the rib cage, and then lower back down, release the tension between the elbows and the ribs. Breathe in, lift in, pull. And then exhale, so we're gonna to add to it. Make two fists as you lift the chest. Squeezing in, and then spread those fingers as you lower down. Breathe in, make two fists, pull those elbows in. Keep the length in the neck, keep the length in the spine. Again, make two fists, pull the elbows in. And then spread the fingers as we lower the chest. Breathe in, pulling, squeezing the elbows. And then spreading those fingers. Inhale, lift and squeeze. And lower down, see if you can lift a little higher. Breathe in, lift and squeeze. And then lower it back down. One last time, breathe in, lift and squeeze. And release, hands in underneath your shoulders. Take a breath in, exhale, push yourself up. Reach the hips back, feel that lovely stretch in the spine. Bum right up in the air, maybe wag your tail. From here onto your hands and your knees. Knees in line with your hips, wrists tracking your shoulders. Chest is open. Following through with the cat cow. So let's lead with extension. Inhale, chest lifts, belly dips, bum rises. Exhale, tuck through that tail, round like an angry cat. Push the floor away, look in between the legs. Breathing in, lift the head, the chest following, belly dipping or bum rising. And then exhaling, rounding like an angry cat, push the floor away, chest is open. One more time, breathe in, lifting up. And then exhaling, rounding out. From here, find a neutral spine. Send your left heel out to the left in line with your left knee. And then extend your right leg, sealing the foot to the floor, the right arch of your foot in line with your left knee. Left hand in line with your left knee, drawing a straight line. Reaching that right arm up, fine length here. Breathe into it. And then reach up and over with the right arm. We're gonna crunch for five. So exhale. Elbow knee bends, and then inhale, look over, stretch. Maybe the foot stays off the floor, and then find length, three to go. Exhale, crunch, and inhale. Exhale, crunch, and inhale. One last time, hold this position, crunch and then stretch it out, seal that right foot to the floor, circle back with that right arm for three, follow the arm for two, and then one more time opening up. Change direction of the circle, circle forward for three, for two, and for one. Right hand comes to the floor, adjust the body back into that all fours position, from here, we find a rounded spine and hold for a breath. So tuck that chin in and then release. So right heel goes out to the right. Left arch of the foot is in line with that right knee. And then right hand is in line with the right knee again. Okay, reach up and over with that left arm. This time breathe in here. And we crunch for five. So crunch an elbow towards your hip, bend that knee. And you can slide the foot along the floor if you feel it's too much to lift the foot up. Follow the arm with your gaze if you can for three more. Last two. And then one more time, we're gonna hold the position. Stretch out that left leg, seal the foot to the floor. Reach up and over with that left arm, feel the length in the body. And then we circle for three, swing the arm around for two, follow the arm for three, change direction for three, last two, and one more, and all four is one last time. So from here, knees together, sit back onto your heels if you can, forearms to the mat, entwine the fingers, and then lift the hips up, rounding through the spine, press into the forearms. Take a breath in here 
And then exhale, send those hips back, fingertips forward, press the fingertips into the floor, and then drop one elbow to the mat. And then lift it up, drop the other elbow to the mat. Lift it up one more time, elbow to the floor, and lift, elbow to the floor, and lift. Slide those hands in, flip over onto your bum. Hands to your knees and just lean the upper body forward. Allow the head to hang and then move the head from right to left, loosening through the neck and then lifting through the upper body. Allow yourself to roll onto your back. Keep those ankles crossed to begin. We're going to lift the calves up so they're parallel to the floor. And then hook the feet, try and pull the feet apart. And then with the hands, place them on the inner knees and press into your hands with those inner knees. Same time, at the same time, feel the lock between the feet. Feel that tension in the inner thighs, the outer hips. One more breath in here. And then release, uncross, place the feet to the floor, arms down by your side, tuck the chin in, and then melt that lower back into the floor. Breathing in, right arm with the fist up in line with your shoulder, drop the shoulder blade to the floor, and then lift the left leg into tabletop, bend the knees, or bend the knee. <laughs> so inhale here, we're gonna stretch. Left leg straight, spread the fingers of that right hand overhead and then make a fist, left knee over your left hip. Spread the fingers, extend and then bring it in slowly. Do it again. So inhale and exhale. Breathe in, stretch and exhale. And only one more. Inhale, stretch and exhale. Now right hand comes to the left knee or maybe slightly to the inside of the left knee. Press against that left leg with your right hand. Feel the tension in those tummy muscles on the left side. Take a breath in and then breathe out, release. Right arm to the floor, left foot to the floor and then raise your left arm, make a fist. And then that right leg into tabletop. Breathe in, spread those left fingers as you extend the right leg to hover. Make a fist, wrist tracking your shoulder. Extend, spread the fingers, and then make a fist, knee over your hip. Extend, spread those fingers, and then make a fist. Two to go like this. Spread, extend, and then make a fist, and one more time. Spread, and make a fist. Same thing, other side. Place your left hand on your right thigh, and then press against that left hand. Feel the tension in the tummy muscles on your right side now. Take a breath in, and then breathe out. Release that right foot to the floor. Heel toe the feet as far right as possible, or even tiptoe over to the right side and then allow the knees to fall to the left. Flip your right palm, maybe you can touch part of your feet and then look to your right, cactus the left arm. You're in a twist here and breathe into all of that space in the front of the body. Breathing in through the nose and breathing out through the mouth. One more inhale here. And then exhale out. Slowly return the feet to the center, knees to the center too. And step or tiptoe or heel toe those feet as far left as possible. Allow the knees fall to the right. Flip the left palm now, reach down towards your feet. And with that right arm, cactus the right arm to the right, looking to the left. Feel the twist and breathe into all of that space on your left side. Inhale, breathe in, fill it up. Exhale, let it go. One more inhale here. And then we slowly, carefully return the feet and the knees to the center. 
So arms down by your side, feet and knees hip width apart. Breathe in, press the lower back down. Exhale, push with the feet, lift those hips up into a shoulder bridge. Inhale at the top, squeeze the bum cheeks, feel the tension in the back of the legs. Exhale, guide that spine down vertebrae by vertebrae. Slowly and controlled, relax the hips into their natural shape at the very bottom. Breathe in, press the lower back down. Breathe out, push with the feet and lift the hips up squeezing those glutes as you do inhale at the top and then release the spine down slowly and controlled allow your hips find their natural shape at the very bottom one more time breathe and press the lower back down breathe out push with the feet lift those hips up inhale at the very top and then breathe out spine comes down slowly controlled relaxing the hips into their natural shape. Extend those legs out straight on the mat now. Arms up towards the ceiling, palms facing in towards each other. Take a deep breath in and then exhale, make your way all the way up into a seated position and then reach towards your feet on the inhale, rounding through the spine, exhale, roll to the mat. Breathe in, arms just over your shoulders, no higher and then exhale, bring yourself all the way up into a seated position. Do it again, breathe in, reach forward. Exhale, roll to the mat. Breathe in, arms or hands over your shoulders. And then exhale, make your way up. One last time, breathe in, reach. Exhale, roll to the mat. Breathe in. And breathe out, bring it up. Inhale, reach here. Exhale, roll to the mat and allow yourself to find a shape or a position that feels comfortable in this moment. Let your body breathe, not just the lungs or the belly. Fill the entire body up with your inhale. Allow your exhale to relax every part of you. Mind, body, breath.
Now sending some movement to the fingers, the toes. Allowing the head to move from side to side. And then slowly guiding your legs into your chest, into your belly one at a time, giving yourself a cuddle and rocking from side to side. Take a breath in, breathe out, roll up into a seated position. Well done everybody, thank you very much for joining me, I'll see you next time.